क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about roasting and calcination where we have understood that is we can convert a particular sulfide ore or we can convert a particular carbonate ore to their corresponding metal oxide so now in this topic we are going to talk about smelting so what is smelting and what are the process that are been involved in that let me talk about that in this topic <music> So friends now let us understand what is actually smelting. So the process of extracting the impure molten metal from its ore at high temperature using suitable flux and a reducing agent like carbon and hydrogen this process is basically known as smelting. So now let us understand a few example related to it so that we could understand this process smelting process very easily and now let us understand that is what are the impurities or what are the other reducing agents that we are using in this process. So friends here we have a general reaction that is suppose if we have a metal oxide that is suppose if MxOy is a metal oxide and suppose if we are treating it with a reducing agent in this case it is nothing but carbon that is Y moles of carbon. So while heating the product that is what we could obtain is a basically crude metal that is XM along with that of Y moles of CO this will be nothing but the impurity that it will be removed because it is a gaseous molecule and talking about the other method that is we can also that is make the reaction that is MxOy and we can react it with Y moles of CO that is carbon monoxide so as to obtain that is crude metal that is XM along with that of that is Y moles of CO2 this will be nothing but a byproduct. So based on that we have two examples that is what I have mentioned over here. So in this case we see the tin oxide that is SnO2 suppose if it is treated with two moles of carbon in this case the carbon is a reducing agent and this is how basically it will try to reduce this SnO2 so as to form that is SN at a temperature of 1473 Kelvin and the byproduct that is what we could obtain is a volatile gas that is 2 moles of CO that is carbon monoxide. So thereby we are converting a particular metal oxide to a crude metal in this case it is tin. So talking about the other example that is in this case ferric oxide whenever the ferric oxide is treated with 3 moles of CO that is carbon monoxide. So in this case the carbon monoxide is acting like a reducing agent and so therefore it will help to reduce this Fe2O3 so as to form that is 2 moles of Fe which is nothing but a crude metal it is not a pure metal actually it is a metal that is in a free state along with that of 3 moles of CO2 that will be a byproduct and the temperature that we have to provide is 8 to 3 Kelvin. So this is nothing but smelting process where we are converting a particular metal oxide to a crude metal. So in the previous lecture we have discussed about that is how we can convert a particular sulfide ore or how we can convert a particular carbonate ore to metal oxide. So this is the later part of it where we can convert those metal oxide to the crude metal. So therefore this is the most important thing that we have discussed over here and that's it for now. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I'll see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.